selling a franchise in the United States follows certain regulatory requirements under the Federal Trade Commission and a variety of uh, state laws. So the Federal Trade Commission and 13 states, and I'll talk about this in a few moments, um, regulate the sale of franchising. In order to sell a franchise to anyone in the U.S., you have to provide the franchisee with a franchise disclosure document or, or an FDD. And the FDD provides a fairly substantial amount of disclosure information to the prospective franchisee, which Mackenzie will go over in some detail in a few minutes. But it's, the creation of that document is governed by the Federal Trade Commission. Um, the Federal Trade Commission, I may be leaping ahead a little bit, but the Federal Trade Commission uh, has, regula has a, a, a set of requirements for the disclo disclosure, but if, they, if you don't comply as a franchisor with the Federal Trade Commission regs, uh, there are no private right of actions by the, federal, by the franchisee for violation of those regulations. State law provides, um, state disclosure and registration laws provide for private rights of action if the state, if the franchisor hasn't complied with sales requirements and if the state that the franchisee is operating in has, um, has violated regulatory requirements, then franchisees um, can have legal claims against franchisors under state regulations. Um, there are only 13 states, and again, I'll get to this in a few minutes, there are only 13 states that um, actually regulate the sale of franchises in a way that allows for private rights of action, and each one of the laws in those states could be completely different than another state. Okay. There are also, and we'll get to this in a few moments as well, relationship laws which govern the ongoing relationship between franchisors and franchisees um, that have little to do with the sales but have to do with the way you operate and sell, how, how you interact with your franchisee after um, you've sold a franchise. Some states have both. Again, we'll go um, over that in a little bit more detail in a few minutes. Uh, there are some industry-specific laws, like in the auto industry or in the alcohol um, and beverage industry. There are different regulations uh, depending on, on uh, what states there are. Finally, there are what's called little FTC acts. Um, those are usually um, uh, unfair trade practices acts that the state has. Um, in some instances, those little FTC acts have been um, expanded to include um, violations of franchise disclosure regulations under the FTC. So, for example, you may be able to sue, a uh, franchisee may end up filing a lawsuit based on a little FTC act in, a, in Ohio uh, based on a violation of the FTC. Right, and we were actually just talking about this before the example of um, Connecticut, which has a franchise registration rule. Well, so which, if yeah. you can sell um, a franchise in the state of Connecticut as long as you're a registered, if you have a registered trademark, and if you don't have a registered trademark, you have to follow the business opportunity laws, which are more complicated. Right. So, so just depending on the realities of your uh, franchise or client's business might trigger uh, your obligation to comply with different set of laws. Um, so that's something to be aware of. Um, the next slide, we've provided you know, a helpful list of resources, and this is really a practitioner's guide here. Um, the FTC regulations that we refer to as the FTC franchise rules are in uh, the, 16, the Code of uh, Federal Regulations, Parts 436.1 and 2. Um, there is also, this is a helpful guide, is the FTC's Franchise Rule Compliance Guide, which is authored by the FTC and is intended to help franchisors both comply and understand the requirements of the FTC franchise rules. It's updated periodically, so this is an important um, resource for franchisor attorneys. Um, NASA is an association of state regulators. Um, their goal is to provide guidance and assistance um, regarding existing regulations, both federal and state. Um, and uh, its website is listed here on the slide. Um, generally, we're going to have disclosure requirements and content requirements. So disclosure requirements, for example, might be the timing that you have to provide an FDD or disclosure documents to prospective franchisees. Um, federal regulations require a 14-day disclosure period. Um, state regulations uh, may, may differ slightly, may differ in their calculations. Certain state regulations require um, this timing to be measured via business days. Um, so you want to make sure you're aware of um, both where your franchise or clients are selling franchises and ensure that they're compliant um, both with federal regulations and with state laws. Um, the content of the FTD is going to be fairly consistent between federal regulations and, and uh, state laws. 